Well, hello everyone. This is Anita in the Biz Coach coming back to you live and in color. All right. I am back to share valuable information with you on all things brands. Yes, it has been an awesome few weeks, man. I have been meeting some awesome people and just learning about some different things that I definitely want to share with you all today. All right. So the first thing is, everybody say first. Okay, there you go. So the first thing is my free masterclass on grant writing, all right? So it's all about how to apply for grants. So I am gonna be sharing in my free masterclass on September the 8th at 7 p.m. And you will uh, more than likely have a link to click on it to register because I do have a lim limit on how many people I'm going to allow in. So I have a cutoff date. So you definitely want to be able to get in on this and get in on it now. All right, I am gonna be talking to you all about my three stage grant writing process. All right, we're gonna talk about those areas that you have to make sure you address when you are trying to apply for grants. And so I am going to explain that in great detail. You're also gonna receive a checklist for you to ensure you are doing a great assessment on all of the things you need when it comes to applying for grants, all right? So you don't want to miss out that free masterclass. Yes, I did say free. Mm, there it is. Won't he do it? My free masterclass on September the 8th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click on the link in this email to go ahead and register. And if you know somebody else that may benefit from this, because it's going to be for businesses and nonprofits. So you will, whether you have a business or a nonprofit, you will be able to benefit from this masterclass. I cannot wait. I am so excited about this. I've got people buzzing. They're like, okay, when you going to do it? When you going to send it out? We read we ready come on with it come on with it here it is don't be playing with it don't mess around you better go ahead and get in because when that day comes and it cut off and it cuts off i'm not going to open it back up all right so i just wanted to share a little bit about a grant that was brought to my attention recently so i am going to share on my screen yes we got this going on today awesome 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 so this is the christopher and dana reed Foundation. And of course, it's uh, Christopher Reed, if you remember the, um, he used to be, a, you know, an actor and he unfortunately passed away. You know, years and years ago, he used to play Superman, right, uh, in the movies. So when he became paralyzed from a, an, a car accident uh, and he was a paralegic, um, and before he passed away or sometimes after that, I'm sure maybe his family, if he did not start it, they started this foundation. I didn't read a lot about the history of the foundation, which I will definitely do so, so that I can know a little bit more about it myself. But I definitely want to, wanted to share this information because this population is very near and dear to me as well. Um, I used to be an uh, advocate and a liaison when I worked for one of the cities that I used to live in, I worked as um, with the city government and the mayor's office as a go-between, you can kind of say, for the people with disabilities and the city government. So I, uh, you know, obtained funding for things like building ramps at people's homes and, you know, trying to develop more programs and working together in partnership with a lot of the people in the city there. All right. So this is definitely dear and near to me. Uh, I was very intrigued about it because it has uh, different tiers for the grant. All right. And it tells you here, and you can see this is the link here to go to. That's ChristopherReeve.org. And I'm sure if you go to that website, you will see a tab that says grants or what have you. So this is for people with paralysis. Um, it's for their families and people that support. Maybe your organization support people with disabilities or something of that nature. So this would be very, very you know, interesting to review and see if you would qualify for one of these tiered grants. Okay. So they are saying that um, they, the guidelines are below 
they have the direct effort and the priority impact prior to your beginning the application for the 2022 second cycle. So when you see that, you already know that they've had different cycles this year in itself. So they just don't offer this once a year. All right, so it says here that uh, for the second cycle, direct effort, I'm sorry, effect and priority impact grants are due on October 13th of this year. So you have a little time, but hey, it's time to get started on it if you want to get it in before that due date, because that, let that always be your goal. You don't want to wait to the last minute, because believe me, when you wait to the last minute, more than likely something's going to be forgotten or it's something you're going to need that you're going to have to try to rush and get and you don't want to cause that kind of stress in your life. <laughs> Believe me, I know. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you get in on this as soon as possible. If you think you're, you're, you as an individual or family or organization would qualify for this, okay? So it talks a little bit more about the direct tier, which is tier one. I'm sorry, direct effect, which is tier one. And then the priority impact, which is tiers two through four. And whenever you see the little underlines, you can always click on those. Uh, they, they will have a technical assistance webinar on the 7th of September. Uh, to register for that, you would click right there on that link where it says here. Now, like I've told you all before, these technical assistance webinars are very informational and they are very useful when you're looking at applying for a grant. You can sit through the first probably 15 minutes of it and you know decide, okay, well, you know what? I don't think, doesn't sound like we qualify for this. So let me just get on off. You know, it can be very helpful for you to develop uh, or even, even if you don't apply for it, just to learn about how different grant applications and grant proposals are presented and the different things that you would need. It's free, they don't cost anything. So, you know, if you have time and it's in your schedule, you can attend it just for the information and the uh, knowledge, okay? So uh, reading on here, the proposals are due again on October 13th, 2022. The external review, it tells you about when they're going to be reviewing it. Then the internal review, um, they will be awarding the grants at the end of December. And then the grant period begins January 1, 2023. So when you see that, that means that is when you have to go into effect of using these monies. So if you are a, uh, you have an organization and you have a program that works with people with disabilities that include people with paralysis, um, you can definitely apply for that, but you would have to start those services the very first day in January. So they give you guidelines right here. And this is the timeline that they have established, okay? So it goes on to say the quality of life grant application process. It describes the different tiers here. The direct effect tier one grants up to $25,000, meaning that's the cap. So they give smaller grants under that as well. And it's to support a wide array of programs and activities. Okay, it says in, in addition to that, they have also created priority impact grants. And that is, oh, wow. <laughs> of course I have a phone call right now and I'm gonna have to call them back because I'm doing this video. So <laughs> I forgot to put it on silent. I, I, I apologize, you all. So then for the priority impact grants, you have tiers two, three, and four with a higher maximum amount of awards. They don't tell you how much it is, but it's higher than 25,000 is what they say. All right, they focus on targeted high priority issues where people living with paralysis and their families. Then it goes on to say this in, enables the Reed Foundation to continue to support valuable projects and services in the communities of the U.S., as well as to highlight, fund, and publicize high priority issues and successful solutions. The last tier they have is tier five, and it is called the extended, or I'm sorry, expanded impact grant. And they are really expansions on grants they've already awarded. So if they've awarded you know, a uh, different um, organization, a grant in the past, and maybe they're going to expand on it with the tier five uh, expanded impact, okay? So going on here, you see where they have the full program details to visit this overview page here. 
all applications must be submitted online through the online grants portal. And if I'm not mistaken, just like most other ones that's online, you have to create a profile or an account. So you have to go through those steps here and then you would be able to go on this link here to go to that portal and start that process. All right. So here they tell you a little bit more about the quality of life grant review process. All right, so this is very, very, very important for you to read. So you definitely want to go to that link to read that. I'm not going to go into it uh, right now because we'll be in that, get in that uh, rabbit hole and never come out. So this is going to be something very important for you to review yourself. And from this, I'm pretty sure, as I've shared in the past, you can create your own checklist to make sure that you've included every, each item that they ask for in that grant. So that would be very wise to do to be able to use their uh, guidelines as your checklist, okay? Then you're at the bottom, it just tells you some different, you can go straight to, you know, like they have right here a proposed project budget template. They have a budget narrative template. So you can utilize these for this grant. And then you might wanna use it as a sample for another grant that you might, you know, uh, see and come along across, all right? So you can use these regardless if you apply for this grant or not. They also have a quick guide to establishing evaluation indicators. Mm, that's very good, very good. Another reason I like this uh, grant or I like this page and this website is they have video tutorials, you guys. What? Free info? I love it. Can you say free? Free, okay. I love it, right? <laughs> So you can actually go down here in this particular one, and they have uh, different short videos on budget, funding restrictions, eligibility. I'm not quite sure if that's just for that particular grant or if it's just in general, but I know that this uh, webinar here, it says uh, the technical assistance webinar was presented on February 2nd, so it's probably not to do, I, I know this one is, has nothing to do with that particular grant because they're talking about how to um, you know, come up with your outcome-based evaluations. Because most expensive evaluations, especially any governmental type grants, you're going to have to give your outcomes. Uh, and your outcomes you know, kind of lines up with your activities. So this actual video here, and it looks like it is about, I think I clicked on it, it's about a little bit over an hour long, if I'm not mistaken. It might have been another video I was looking at. Yeah, I think it's another video. Anyway, um, you can actually, this is just helping you, period, with your, um, you know, your grant writing proposal process. And this helps you think about how to develop your outcomes, how to start thinking in that mind frame of what are outcomes, why do I need them, why are they important, where well, they're important because that's your end goal, your outcomes, what is going to happen once we give you this money, you implement your program, your project, your pr products, whatever it is, your service. What is the outcome to you doing that with your target audience? What is the end goal? What is it going to look like? So your outcomes are very important. And a lot of times, grants will base your validity on your outcomes, what you're saying you're going to achieve and how you're going to know, you know, and then the next thing is evaluation. You know, how are you going to evaluate that you were successful? How are you going to tell that? Uh, because sometimes these uh, organizations want you to report. You know, you have to have uh, a formative or a summative uh, report, outcomes report, right? And evaluation. So you have to really take these things seriously. These people ain't just giving out money. Everybody love to say, oh, we're getting money for free, free money, free money. Okay, it's free, but guess what? Come with free money. Y'all already know, especially when you're working with the government, they want to know, they want to see what you're doing, where, where is it going, did it do anything? Did you accomplish the things you said you was going to do? Did you mis misappropriate some funds? <laughs> you can't be playing with these people's money. <laughs> That's a whole nother animal for another day. We won't even go down that rabbit hole, okay? So this is an awesome, awesome website. I love it, I love it, I love it. So again, this particular grant is from the Chris and Dana Reeves Foundation. And this website again, and you can see it up here in my browser, is ChristopherReeve.org. 
And once you go to that website, I'm sure they'll have a link or a tab or something you can go to to get to their uh, foundations or better yet, even Google it. All right. I love Googling stuff, you know. Yeah, I love it. I love Google. I love free. I love things of that nature. So <laughs> I love knowledge. But anyway, it is awesome to be able to come to you all again and share. And uh, I look forward to next time. Again, don't forget to register for my free masterclass. We're going to be talking about my three-stage grant preparation process. You're going to love it. It's going to be information packed. You're going to receive your workbook and everything to go along with it as we're going through the class. And it's going to be an awesome opportunity to be able to learn more about the grant writing process. Okay. So until next time, you guys take care and continue to go after that money. All right. <laughs> All right. So let me just see how to end this thing here, all right? <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Thanks so much.